Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. <laughs> Brittany got a good surprise for you today, and Linda Burkholz, the executive, executive director. director of the Life Food Pantry, and we're not in the pantry. We're down uh, a couple hundred feet away now, but let her make that announcement, but I uh, hope you all be excited about this. So, Linda, yes. what's going on? So the Life Pantry is so excited to say that we are moving into this space. So technically you are in the Life Pantry. Um, we're moving down to the space 667, which is right next to Ace Hardware. And the other side of this is Flying Ninja. And it's a much, much larger space. And so we're going to have so much more room for clients. We're anticipating sometime early to midsummer to make the move. As you can okay. see looking around, um, there's nothing in here yet. Yeah, it's big and it's empty. Um, you can probably hear the Great echo acoustics. through the, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> But, but so you want to say how much bigger it is? Um, you, yeah, I think you told me yesterday. Yes, that. we're moving from approximately 1,500 square feet to nearly 5,000 square feet. And so it's huge for the clients because we will be able to do a lot more of the services that we do that are very limited. We'll have room for more shoppers, and so we don't have to shop only a couple people at a time. Oh, and you told me a little while ago, people won't have to stand outside people in the line. People will no longer have here. to, that's right, they'll no longer have to stand out when it's, it's blowing like this. It's kind of almost snow in a day, it so. Is. When it's cold, when it's rainy, we end up with people either having to wait in their cars, and then we have to call them when it's time for them to come in, or or they have to sit out in the bad weather yeah. and when it's 90 degrees and it's horrible outside they're out there too and there's no dignity for our clients and that's a very large part of what we do is we want everyone to understand that there is zero shame in needing help anytime anyone could need help and it's very important for our clients to know that we value them and we know that they're just going through a hardship in their life and they need some assistance and that's what we're here to do so we want them to have the dignity to come and shop it will be just like a big old grocery store and so they will come they will shop they will choose their own items as they do now but in a much more relaxed much more comfortable far less crowded and hurried situation yeah so it's it's still in the same shopping complex yes just down i guess to the it's, right it's just to the if, right if you're looking but at it, the building it's, it's down more to the isolated right. as far as people waiting and coming in and it stuff. is a little more isolated um yeah. there's not as much business we're next to the dmv right now so of course that's very large and the dance studio is up in the corner so in the evenings parking becomes a situation oh, yeah. because where do you park there aren't a lot of spaces if everybody's crowded up into one corner so yeah. down here we will have wide open parking which will be magnificent and so the waiting area will be better the shopping area will be better but then the large intake area in the back and a storage area will be significant for the pantry because right now we have a storage unit in Landon that every time mm -hmm. we need some items that we keep there we have to go get them and bring them back and so it's time consuming and you know when it's not on site and then we have volunteers that say well we don't have any room for the shoes that we were giving out for the summer and so I'll put them in my basement so we have yeah. things scattered throughout the community because we had no place to store them and, and, and come Christmas, those kind of things. Right. Because I, I came from the, the current pantry yes. down here, and again, looking around, it's really crowded in there. It's and it always crowded. has been from the day you open. It always has been, but for us, moving from Prince of Peace, who was very generous, letting us have the space in the back, it was 200 square feet. And so when we moved into almost 1,500, you know, we thought we had moved into the Taj Mahal. Yeah. Yeah. This is closer to the size of the Taj Mahal, but <laughs> um, it was still crowded, yes, from the day we moved in, but you take what's available, and even though this is more space than we anticipated, we won't have to move again. This, this can be our permanent yeah. home, um, unless somebody wants to build a building for us, in which case we're always open to that, and so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Well, <laughs> now that you've made that ask, I don't, I don't want us to leave here without you telling people what you need 
just in terms of getting this space ready. Ah. Floor wax, cleaning supplies, volunteers just to come in yes. and, and help move things and get the place ready. Yes. But t tell us what kind of things you need. So we actually are going to have a list on Amazon and it will be on our website oh, of things that people can either buy and send or they can um, donate money saying, you know, I'd like to contribute X amount toward whatever it is because in addition to having to move everything from there to here, we're going to need more storage racks to put mm -hmm. our, you know, shelving to put our groceries on. We're going to need more shelving for the back. We're going to need um, all sorts of containers and bins and those kind of things. So we've put them all on, but we will need cleaning supplies and we'll need the floor to be cleaned and we'll need all sorts of those kind of things and volunteers. And that was the biggest thing that you said is we need volunteers. <laughs> Probably a floor cleaning service in Loveland there might that be, has the buffers and, and everything. That would be amazing if there was a floor cleaning service in Loveland that would like to donate their services. Yeah. And we are so grateful for the community support. Loveland is a remarkable place to live as far as people saying, well, I can help with that. And it's yeah. really, really wonderful. And we have been so fortunate to have a lot of those kind of things. And we try to give back and supporting support community services and people in our community and so if a company donates their services you know we put a thank you out on our social media and to our um, website we will link their companies and so it's a way for us to give back to the people that are so supportive of us and we know it's hard for some people to get out and shop we understand that we're busy or mm. we just don't have the means you know we have paypal you can say, I'd like to make a monthly contribution mm -hmm. of $25, or I'd like to pay for the cost of shelving. And then you know exactly where that money went. And, and that's, that's a exactly good way, right. that's a good ask. People it's, know exactly. You know exactly where it went. And, you know, if it's a really big something and people would like a little plaque with their name on it, we'll do that. That's fine. You're probably going to need some party supplies for a grand opening, aren't you? Oh, we absolutely. So anybody want to supplies. specifically donate cake or ice or cream, ice cream balloons? Or, yeah, any of those kind of things things we will certainly need that confetti um, okay only <laughs> if we have a cleaning company to come clean it up afterwards okay. yeah um but one of the things that we'll be able to do here that is huge for us is the privacy issue for our clients yeah. and we support several other pantries in the greater Loveland area because we don't have enough space to keep the donations that come in from, say, Kroger or some of those because we don't have enough freezer space. And so we take everything that we can take and then we'll call another pantry and say, okay, we have this leftover, can you use it? We'll be getting new freezers in addition to what we already have. So we'll be able to keep more of the things right here in Loveland. We support 45140, and that's the entire community that we support. So we're not a pantry that's open to everyone. We're taking care of our neighbors, and we feel like that's really important, that we care for the community in which we live. Now, if you're out of this area, we do a one-time serve. We have a pre-packed bag and lots of resources for other people. So if somebody is hungry, we're going to feed them, but we're going to make sure they get to the place they need to be. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Spreading for, the word. For being, letting me come in today and talk to you about this. We're very excited to show off the space. Thank you for doing this. And, and please thank everybody that's volunteering and people on staff and, you know, in the leadership positions. Absolutely. We are so grateful. So I'll say it on behalf of the community. Uh, thank you. And so, so thanks for everything. And congratulations. This thank is really exciting. Thank you. We exciting. are very, very sorry excited. Sorry for the need, but it's We're, here. And, and that's got... just it. We're sorry for the need, and we hope we won't have to serve as many clients as we're serving now. Yeah. But we are serving a lot of people. And I'm very grateful that we're here and able to serve them because oh, otherwise... Yeah people would have to do without a lot of things and mm. that's just not acceptable yeah okay congrats thank you thanks thank again. you for being here okay bye bye <laughs> and see you guys soon loveland magazine tv videos are brought to you by the generous support of move to loveland.com